Nearly 5,000 people have been killed in Juarez since 2008 as a result of the violent battles between drug fueling cartels over territorial routes and against government officials sent in to bring order in the city. This issue has haunted people in Juarez, making it one of the most dangerous cities in the world to live in. Many have taken refuge or sought asylum in El Paso, Texas to avoid the horror that has escalated in this dangerous city. Mexican President Felipe Calderón has deployed over 45,000 troops and 5,000 federal police officers in an attempt to seize the violence in Juarez since it began. But yet, critics say that Calderón's army-led strategy has failed to reduce the violence. What solution or solutions can be implemented in response to this issue that has caused great havoc among Mexican citizens living in our neighboring city? Far more about the dangers of Juarez than any six-year-old should. When his father opened a new shop, the cartels demanded protection money. Entonces a él le pidieron cierta cantidad, no la pudo reunir y al momento que la reunió, pues ya se le había vencido el plazo, fue por eso que de hecho el niño estaba ahí con él cuando pasó eso, se lo había llevado una semana. Blanca's husband was murdered in front of their son Christian. It happened only two months ago. There's police and soldiers all around the car, bullet holes all through the windscreen and blood spattered all over the windscreen. The music is still playing in the car. In the scene of horror, absolute horror. These young men were all wearing similar badges. They were probably factory workers going home after their shift. It's hard to believe that each one of them was an intended target. And that this is a war with no innocent victims. Notice the national media has been all over this story, all day. Story after story about this particular shooting has aired on the networks. But the way they're reporting the story, you would think that the violence of Juarez was something new. The networks have spoken, a so-called new level of violence in Juarez. Really? ABC News says the cartels have a new target, Americans. Fox News says the weekend execution of Leslie Enriquez and her husband, Arthur Redelfs, was the first time Americans have been targeted and killed during Mexico's drug war. Apparently, they haven't been told about Raul Rodriguez Arredondo. The U.S. citizen was shot eight times while leaving a church in Juarez. Eduardo Guillen was killed at a Juarez motel. He worked at an El Paso post office and was a former Fort Bliss soldier. Fifteen-year-old Tanya Lozoya was killed at a birthday party in Juarez. She was hit by a stray bullet when someone opened fire with an automatic rifle. Rocia Cassandra Caballero gunned down at the ghost bar in Juarez. Solange Medina stoned to death outside of a party. Sergio Salcedo kidnapped and dragged from his home in Horizon City, his mutilated body found in Juarez a week later. David Boer was an airman from Holloman Air Force Base. He went to visit family in Juarez and was killed along with five other men while at the Amadeus nightclub. And let's not forget about Raul Ramirez. The seven-year-old boy was a U.S. citizen and he was shot to death by gunmen after they killed his father. Raul tried to run away. The gunmen chased him four blocks, held him down, and shot him to death.
Yeah, and the fact is tonight, this is not a new level of violence. Americans have been dying in Juarez for two years now, along with the more than 4,000 Mexican citizens who have died there as well. And every one of those murders was tragic. While everyone else is catching up, we are following the very latest. You can follow along with us on our website, KTSM. There is no quick solution to all this chaos. However, the United States and Mexico need to start taking other steps to help resolve this issue. One way to start lessening the violence is to legalize marijuana in, in the United States. If the United States were to legalize marijuana, this may ultimately put Mexican drug cartels out of business, or at least lower their drug-related violence. Another solution to help lessen the violence is that Mexico needs to take steps to ensure proper education to all its citizens. With proper education, citizens would be less likely to get involved with drug cartels.